Hare Krishna. I completely forgot. <laughs> Thank you, Bhruji. Hare Krishna, Padma Mataji, Dandot Pranam, Hare Krishna. Giraj Prabhu, Lamanya Mataji, Dandot Pranam Mataji. Manasa Mataji, Dandot Pranam, Hare Krishna. Vivek Prabhu, Maheshwar Prabhu Ji, Hare Krishna, Dandot Pranam, Vivek Prabhu Ji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Dandot Pranam. Good morning, happy Ekadashi to everyone. Puna Mataji, Shri Gopal Prabhu, Dandot Pranam, Hare Krishna. Santosh Haiti Prabhu Ji, Dandot Pranam Prabhu Ji, thank you for joining. Subhara Prabhu Ji, Hare Krishna. Nirupa Mataji, Dandot Pranam. Dandot Pranam. Lalitmoor Prabhu Ji, Dandot Pranam Prabhu Ji, thank you for joining. Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, Dandot Pranam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Now Ekadashi is more meaningful to me. Hare Krishna. Prabhu Ji, how are you Prabhu Lalitmoor Prabhu? Yes Prabhu Ji, doing good. More than uh, Hyderabad. You are, you are like the you are like the sunshine in that place. अरे नहीं नहीं प्रभु जी सनसन ऊपर आ रहा है प्रभु विटामिन डी चाहिए था प्रभु जी अरे कृष्णा अरे कृष्णा सो नाइस ऑफ यू प्रभु सॉरी आई कुड नॉट अटेंड यस्टरडेस क्लास प्रभु जी आई वाज इन अ डिफरेंट सर्विस एंड प्लीज दैट इज गुड फॉर मी प्रभु जी नो नो आई हर्ड इट वाज आई हर्ड समथिंग यू स्पोक वेरी वेरी रिलेवेंट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आई वांट टू हियर द रिकॉर्डिंग हरे कृष्णा प्रवीण प्रभु पूजा माता जी दंडवत प्रणाम हरे कृष्णा राजू प्रभु राजू प्रभु एंड शिर्षा माता जी दंडवत प्रणाम आनंदराम प्रभु जी चरण्य माता जी दंडवत प्रणाम थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग You are on a vacation. Still, you are making sure you are with us. Dandavat Pranam. Rajesh Prabhu ji, Dandavat Pranam. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam. Hare Krishna. Sucharita, Sucharita Mata ji and Jayanand Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam. All glory to Prabhu Pad. Dandavat Pranam, Prabhu ji. Hare Krishna. Malik Mayer Prabhu ji, Mata ji, Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam. Teja Mata ji, Dandavat Pranam. Satyadev Prabhu and Shivali Mata ji, Dandavat Pranam. भागवतमी बेटर Right. We are somehow start. We are starting a Monday with a Bhagavatam. <laughs> for materialistic people, Monday is like starting with headaches, right? But for us, it is Monday starting with Bhagavatam, and this week is also ending with Gaur Purnima, right? So we are all heading towards Gaur Purnima on Friday. Hare Krishna. So I was thinking about this verse from Shrimad Bhagavatam for discussion for all of us today. Let me hide this. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah. Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. We can. Okay. Seventh canto, fourth chapter, thirty-first and thirty-second verse. Right. These are the qualities of Pralad Maharaj. These two verses about qualities of Pralad Maharaj. So we can try to repeat. Uh, you can try to repeat after me. There are two verses in one. So. Yeah. We'll go with it, okay? Yeah, that's it. Brahmanya sila sampanna. Brahmanya Brahmanya sila sampanna. Brahmanya sila sampanna. Satya sando jitendriya. Satya sando jitendriya. Satya sando jitendriya. सत्यूतानाकुहृत्तम सन्नातार्यान्ग्रिही 
भ्रात्वात सदृशे सदृशे स्निग्धो गुरुस्वीश्वर भावना गुरुस्वेश्वर भावना विद्यार्थरूपजन्मा मानस्तंभ विवर्जिता थैंक यू सो वील रीड द ट्रांसलेशन देर लॉट ऑफ वर्ड मीनिंग्स बट वी कैन डायरेक्टली गो टू द ट्रांसलेशन प्लीज रिपीट आफ्टर मी translation and purport by divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shila prabhupada ki jai translation the qualities of prahlad maharaj the qualities of prahlad maharaj the son of hiranyakashipu the son of hiranyakashipu are described here with are described by you here he was completely cultured he was completely cultured as a qualified brahmana as a qualified brahmana having very good character having very good character and being determined to understand and being determined to understand the absolute truth the absolute truth he had full control on his office senses and mind and mind one second santosh aitu prabhu you are on speaker hari bol light on okay i am muted him Yeah. Wait a second. Where were we? Yeah. He had full control of his senses. He had, had full control, control of, his of his senses and mind. And mind. And mind. Like the super soul. Like, like the super, the super soul. soul. He was kind to every living entity. He was, he was kind to every living entity. And was the best friend of everyone. And, and was the best, the best friend of everyone. To respectable persons. Respectable person. He acted exactly. He acted exactly like a menial servant. Like a menial servant. To the poor. To the poor. He was like a father. He was like a father. To his equals. To his equals. He was attached like a sympathetic brother. He was attached like a sympathetic brother. And he considered his teachers. स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर्स एंड ओल्डर गॉड ब्रदर्स एंड ओल्डर गॉड ब्रदर्स टू बी एज गुड एज द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड इट वॉज कंप्लीटली फ्री फ्रॉम अनैचुरल प्राइड दट माइट हैव अराइजन from his good education from his good education riches riches beauty beauty aristocracy aristocracy and so on and so on hare krishna so i'm just going to read it once again please hear the qualities of prahlad maharaja the son of hiranyakashipu are described here with he was completely cultured as a qualified brahmana having very good character and being determined to understand the absolute truth he had full control of his senses and mind like the super soul he was kind to every living entity and was the best friend of everyone to respectable persons he acted exactly like a menial servant to the poor he he was like a father to his equals he was attached like a sympathetic brother and he considered his teachers spiritual masters and older god brothers to be as good as the supreme personality of godhead 
he was completely free from unnatural pride that might have arisen from his good education riches beauty aristocracy and so on hare krishna so we'll read the purport by shila prabhupad please focus as a here as i read this there are some of the qualifications of a vaish these are some of the qualifications of a vaishnava a vaishnava is automatically a brahmana because a vaishnava has all the good qualities of a brahmana samod samodamastapa saucham kshantir arj arj vam evacha gyanam vigyanam astikyam brahma karma swabhavajam peacefulness self control austerity purity tolerance honesty wisdom knowledge and righteousness i'll read once again peacefulness self control austerity purity tolerance honesty wisdom knowledge and righteousness these are the qualities by which the brahmanas work bhagavad gita 18.42 these qualities are manifest in the body of a vaishnava therefore a perfect vaishnava is also a perfect brahmana as indicated here by the words brahmanya seela sampanna a vaishnava is always determined to understand the absolute truth and to understand the absolute truth one needs to have full control over his senses and mind prahlad maharaj possessed all these qualities a vaishnava is always a well wisher to everyone the six goswamis for example are described in this way dheera dheera jana priya they were popular with uh, with both the gentle and the ruffians a uh, vaishnava must be equal to everyone regardless of one's position atmavat a vaishnava should be like a should be like parmatma ishvara sarva bhutanam hridesh arjuna tishtati parmatma does not hate anyone indeed he is in the heart of a brahmana but he is also in the heart of a pig as the moon never refuses to distribute its pleasing rays even to the home of a chandala a vaishnava never refuses to act for everyone's welfare therefore a vaishnava is always obedient to the spiritual master arya the word arya refers to one who is advanced in knowledge one who is uh, deficient in knowledge cannot be called arya at present however the word arya is used uh, to refer to those who are godless this is the unfortunate situation of kaliyuga the word guru refers to the spiritual master who in, who initiates his disciple into advancement in the science of krishna or krishna consciousness as stated by shri lavishana chakravarti thakura shri bhag shri bhagavan mantro padeshake gurav iti artha what is the meaning of this the word guru refers to the spiritual master who initiates the disciple into advancement in the science of krishna or krishna consciousness as explained by shri vishnu chakravarti thakura so we can analyze uh, the qualities of uh, uh, you know pralad maharaj here i can see this beautiful article which is written by kala chakra krishna das prabhu and what he is doing is he is trying to uh, he has written this beautiful article in uh, you know a disciple of mahavishnu goswami abili and uh, he is writing here i'll just read dear vaishnava sari krishna please accept my humble obeisances all glory to shri prabhupada and gurudev you all can see my screen prabhu and mataji yes yes mak yes prabhu okay. yeah clear clear our shastras are so full of transcendental instructions provided to us in so many ways some instructions are straight forward coming from the lotus mouth of the lord or his pure devotees some lessons we can get through instructive pastimes or allegorical stories and some of them we can get it through narrative qualities of pure devotees pralad maharaj is one such mahajana devotee from whom we can draw inspiration to perform bhakti eternally his transcendental qualities are mentioned in the fourth chapter of the seventh canto which are worth meditating and following so here are the list these are the two verses we just read 7 4 31 and 32 here is a list of each of pralad maharaj's qualities mentioned in the two above verses we can meditate upon okay so he has just broken them so that we can meditate upon this 
Brahmanya Shila Sampanna. He was completely cultured as a qualified Brahmana, possessing all good qualities. Satya Sandhya. He was determined to understand the absolute truth. Jita Indriya. He, he fully controlled the senses and mind. Atmavat Sarva Bhutanam. Like the super soul, he was very kind to every living entity. Ekapriya Shurutma, Shurutama, he was the best friend of everyone. Dasavat Sannata Arya Angiri, to respectable elders, Angrihi, uh, to respectable elders, he was very yes, obedient, acting exactly like a menial servant. Pritavat Dinavat Sala, to poor, he was very kind like a father. Bratravat Sadrashe Snigdha. To the equals, he was at, he was affectionate like a sympathetic brother. Snigdha means affectionate, by the way. <laughs> okay. Guru, Gurushu, Gurusvi Ishwara Bhavana. He considered his teachers, spiritual masters and older God brothers to be as good as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Vidya, Vidya Ratha, Rupa, Janmadhyo, Manas Thamba, Vivarjitaha. He was completely free from unnatural pride. Please note this, unnatural pride. What is unnatural pride? That which has arised from good education, riches, beauty, aristocracy, and so on. Very, very important statement, right? Everybody is proud about their education, the way they look, the, what the wealth they have. Their, their aristocracy, but that is unnatural. But that is unnatural. That is unnatural. Please meditate on this word. Okay. So simply by possessing these transcendental qualities, Prahlad Maharaj was able to attract the attention of the Lord, which is not possible to any amount, by any amount of self-motivated austerities and penances. The Lord is easily pleased by simple and straightforward devotional qualities, but any amount of artificial and complicated gymnastics will not attract his attention. He is the closest observer <laughs> of what is going on in our minds, and he can never be cheated. The sooner we come to terms with this truth, the sooner we can start acting in that in the right way. Following the footsteps of Prahlad Maharaj, my humble prayers to the lotus feet of the Lord's pure devotee, Sri Prahlad Maharaj, to bestow upon me the qualification to possess these transcendental qualities so that I can become a devotee in the real sense. Thank you very much. Yours in service of Srila Prabhupada and Srila Gurudev, Kala Chakra Krishna Das. <laughs> I saw this letter and I was very, very impressed. And, uh, you know, that he has written to devotees. And it's there in... Uh, the website of Mahavishnu Goswami Maharaj, right? And uh, it was such a beautiful explanation of what qualities, you know, uh, devotees possess and what qualities we all should aspire for, right? Uh, so any any reflections, Prabhu and Mahathir, just reading this verse? Any reflections? What did you feel? When we were reading the qualities of Prahlad Maharaj. Yeah, Lalit Monpo, you are you're on mute. We are not devotees, Prabhupada. Simply. <laughs> you're Rama. We can't even ask for. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Yeah, anybody else? Hare Krishna. See, Bhagavatam is to uplift us, right? I mean, we are reading a verse which is going to uplift us. Uplift us and uh, make us pure. Like this uh, Kala Chakra Krishna Das Prabhu was writing it. That, hey Krishna, I pray that I get these qualities. I pray that I get these qualities. We all have to pray that we get these qualities. We don't have these qualities. That's a very good thing that Lalit Man Prabhu told. If we have these qualities, then by now, Narsing Dev should be in front of us. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there because you don't have this qualities. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Any reflection? Come on, speak up. What did you feel when, you, when we read this verse? Okay. So, now I'm going to ask you all a question. Okay. When I read this letter, because I have Iranakashpu myself, so I felt in a different way. The whole thing I felt in a different way. If you have a son, 
if you have a child who has all these qualities truthful merciful compassionate friendly devotional right um, doesn't have any false pride all these qualities your son has how can still you can think of killing that son how, what kind of a person can you be to kill such a son can you imagine what was hiranyakashipu just see the other side of the coin one said you know the great qualities of prasad are being described just see from hiranyakashipu's angle this fellow is ready to kill such a son a son you know which any parent would love to have a son a boy who attracted the attracted the attention of the supreme person of god and you know who who has who has taken an entire canto of bhagavatam seventh canto is completely prahlad maharaj right such a son was being targeted to be killed by hiranyakashipu does this disturb you i mean what kind of a person hiranyakashipu was right it really disturbed me really disturbed me and by the way by the way there are many hiranyakashipus today in kaliuga in our colony also there is one hiranyakashipu me <laughs> but because because i am not seeing this qualities in others right when i was reading this verse i was thinking am i seeing this qualities in other devotees am i seeing this qualities um in uh, in iskon or am i trying to find faults with devotees right am i trying to find ah oh, now this this devotee has done this so i found it out this devotee has done that i found it out right am i trying to be renakashpu or am i trying to praise prahlad maharaj right we have to meditate on this provision mataji is we all you know iskon is a beautiful institution a society of devotees and we have to learn to learn from devotees not to compare ourselves with devotees right we should never compare ourselves with any devotee or for that matter a devotee with another devotee there is no reason to compare and this whole comparison is coming because of your false ego a simple thing i'll tell you know simple thing i hear devotees telling that you know prabhu you know uh, i am in i am in this satsang when i go to another satsang i don't feel that intimacy i don't feel that uh, you know i don't feel connected you know i was you know in delhi i was in very good satsang i'm not able to get connected anywhere else you know i'm i'm in ba- I, i'm coming from chopati i can't connect anywhere else i'm coming from pune i can't connect anywhere else i'm coming from hyderabad i cannot i cannot connect anywhere else why do you think you're not able to connect let's think about it for a minute why do you think you're not able to connect okay there is a good thing that you know you you had a great experience of intimate relationships with devotees when you were there but what happened to the devotees in other city <laughs> what what went wrong with them poor fellows they are doing their satsang you are the one who entered that satsang <laughs> what are you seeing in them are you seeing hiranyakashipu in them or what they are serving in their own way they are struggling serving in their own way right are you seeing devotional qualities in them or are you sitting there and comparing i remember one devotee he came from another country and the first thing he was telling one other devotee that devotee was sharing with me prabhu this new devotee has come you know uh, he doesn't like the way i'm preaching <laughs> prabhu why do you even why do you even get bothered with that no prabhu the problem is you know he's coming and telling me i'm not using projector i'm not using uh, <laughs> you know i'm not using you know i'm not reading the verses properly i mean prabhu ji i'm i don't know what to do because you know the other devotee is uh his expectations are different what should i do <laughs> so i told you better ask him to start his own satsang you know better ask him to go and do what he is doing prabhu ji mata ji we have come to iskon to change ourselves not change iskon <laughs> please please you know you you changing iskon when you become an acharya then you do it you know if, you, if by god's grace when you when you get renounced from your grahastha life and some guru gives you sanyas at some point then think about changing iskon you know okay i'll change iskon in this way right now we are all here to learn from iskon wherever we go find your service 
uh, and take that service and and run with that service and do that service through the service you can bring change i'm not saying implementing one satsang's ideas in other satsang is a bad thing no right but you going the, you making that as your mission is a wrong <laughs> like you know i'm going to i'm going to change the whole world you know this is how it is this is how devotion is no everybody has a different circumstance different mood and different position situation in life and uh, the way they are serving is different we have to see the qualities of prahlad maharaj in devotees it is there right it all depends with what eyes we are seeing them if iranyakashpu could see bad in prahlad no wonder we are able to see bad in devotees no wonder right even though devotees have those qualities can somebody see bad in me of course he can see bad in me you think by just by changing a dress in 5 years will become like pralad maharaj come on give me a break 20 years will become like pralad maharaj just by changing a dress thoda kapde kandwa pen liya thoda bana ha i'm pralad maharaj nahi hota aise doesn't work like that let's be practical we all are conditioned with our material ideas and we are coming to satsang through progress in spiritual life not to impose or not to suddenly become a pure devotee doesn't work like that you can't suddenly become a pure devotee right some people come to satsang you know to find a partner in business some people come to satsang to find a job in business you know job within the satsang somebody will find me a job some people will come to satsang you know to i don't know ulterior different different ideas and what will happen i'll tell you process what will happen such people when they come to satsang uh instead of progressing ahead in bhakti krishna will immediately recognize them and throw them out of the satsang why because they are finding faults they are finding faults and they are using the most precious association for the wrong causes we should be very careful i know one devotee you know um, he he came to satsang he started a business right he started a business and uh, he told okay we are going to do this related to devotion so our two two three other devotees also joined with that uh, devotee right and and then what happened the business bombed <laughs> yeah business something happened they all put investment uh, it didn't work as planned and the business went okay business gaya ye devotee log kyun gaye right business is gone so why did the devotees also go along with the business they all vanished why did you come to iskon to do business or did you come to iskon to learn about devotion what did you come here for and why should you get affected if there is any loss in the business think about it ask ask yourself what are you trying to do in the satsang are you trying to find business partners or are you trying to find devotional partners or devotional you know inclined people ulterior motives right some people uh, come to satsang they find a job or they give a job and then something happens at the job place you don't perform properly or somebody is not performing properly whom you gave the job or you help the job the job is gone satsang is gone part khatam why did we come why did we come to satsang really think about it you know what are we doing knowingly and unknowingly by going to satsangs knowingly and knowingly right uh going to satsang comparing comparing altars or oh, this altar is very that altar this all you don't alter huh? <laughs> that's another problem right oh this prabhu has this this prabhu has that that mata ji is like this this prabhu ji is like this kya karne ka irada hai satsang mein kya karne ka irada hai socho you know i mean it's a very important thing prabhu ji and mathi ji i'm telling you this is a very important thing we are growing as a community don't compare with devotees every devotee is special in a certain way one devotee can speak very nicely one devotee can do aarti very nicely one devotee can um uh, can dress deities very nicely one devotee can do mrudanga very nicely one devotee can do kartal very nicely one devotee is very respectful in his dealings one devotee is very organizing uh capability one devotee you know uh, cooks prashadam very nicely one, one devotee serves prashadam very nicely one devotee chants very nicely one devotee sings very nicely one devotee does so many things so many nicely and there is one devotee who does all these things nicely there is there can be one devotee who can do all these things nicely and and 
and how is able to do all these things nicely or how is anybody able to do any of these things nicely prabhuji mataji how is able to do all these things nicely krishna's mercy krishna prabhu krishna's mercy prabhu if some devotee is able to do something nicely it is krishna's mercy how can you be envious about that devotee wo kya karega krishna gave that thing to him he, he he can do something nicely when we see somebody is doing something nicely learn from him serve him assist him right and things will be so nice satsang is a place where we all come together to learn to meditate to beg krishna please give me these good qualities please give me these good qualities not to see faults in others not to judge others not to you know become hiranyakashipu and kill that devotee and kill that prahlad plan to kill that prahlad that's not the point right you would have seen you know uh, his grace radhisham prabhu he, he conducts so many training programs just see his schedule you can go to schedule.radhishamdas.com right schedule.radhishamdas.com you can see the entire schedule and just see how many training programs is conducting every single day every single day is conducting training programs training to youth training to devotees training to senior devotees training to junior devotees training to senior i don't know temple presidents training to uh, you know different kinds of training courses slate gloss um, so many different different groups he creates with abbreviation and he keeps training them training them training them training. why is he training so much why is he so he you know one day he was you know by by krishna's grace i have a, i get a little association of prabhu ji he told prabhu ji only through training we can elevate the devotees we can we can help the devotees training is very important because a lot of people think by coming to iskon they became devotee already we have started our devotional life we have not we have not come to a point where we are devotees please you know let's not be in that illusion right uh, i'm telling this to myself you know i'm not a devotee yet how can i be a devotee are 10 15 saal aa gaya iskon mein devotee ho gaya kya itna jaldi is it so easy to become a devotee is it so easy to become a devotee like like shrila prabhupad like prahlad maharaj like this bhagavatas is it so easy it's not so easy first and the foremost thing to become such a devotee is to stop comparing with other devotees start appreciating what other devotees have stop becoming envious of other devotees most important thing stop becoming envious of other devotees this is a big problem you know even in uh, big devotional societies also where the guru the guru becomes favorable or rather more easily available to a number of devotees and the remaining devotees become envious why is my guru speaking to him why is he giving more services to him why is that why is that uh, prabhu uh, all the time in, a, in in the center why is why is this why is my guru even to worshipable gurudev what is mentioned in this verse it is mentioned pralad maharaj used to used to treat a spiritual master as good as what supreme lord supreme lord right and pralad maharaj used to treat his senior god brothers as good as supreme lord supreme lord can supreme you imagine lord. just see the standard you know see the standard of the verse pralad maharaj is treating his senior god brothers his uh, gurus spiritual masters as good as a supreme lord are we treating our god brothers like that or are we comparing and talking about them when they are not there hmm? why prabhuji and mataji if you are feeling comfortable or uncomfortable by going from one satsang satsang to another satsang it's not the problem with those satsangs the problem with you because you're not going there to serve you're not going there to serve you're going there to be served 
you want to be served no, i want to be recognized i want to be identified i want to be glorified that is not happening in one satsang so i don't like this satsang meko nahi chahiye right whereas you should treat everybody there as good as the supreme personality got it why do we think we are out of uh, uh, spiritual world a lot of people ask prabhu when we go back to krishna if we were with krishna how come we left krishna how is that possible how is that possible prabhu how can you leave krishna i don't believe in this philosophy uh, going back home back to god is not right uh, we are not going back we are going to god we were never with god if we were with god how can we leave god <laughs> right you can leave god because you have a tendency of getting attracted to lower side lower energies right like pride envy jealousy greed all these things you have a tendency you have that tendency meditate in that because otherwise how can you come here so once rajesham prabhu was saying that if a devotee can leave uh, iskon satsang i am not surprised if he has left goloka vrindavan <laughs> right it's a, it's a profound statement you know if he can leave uh, you know a satsang in which he is treated so nicely i'm going to ask you a question have you gone to a single iskon satsang where devotees have not come to you and told dandavat pranam prabhu please take your place Have you gone to one Iskand Satsang so far? Anywhere, whichever city, whichever. Oh. Huh? Have you gone? Where they they have not invited you, they have not made you sit. They you know they have not given you. Have you gone? Anybody? No problem. No problem. Go ahead. Aina. Have you gone to a single Iskand Satsang where they were partial in not giving you your gulab jamun or puri? No. No. Okay. No. Have you gone to a single Iskand Satsang where, well, when they were dancing, they did not allow you to enter the dance? No. Have you gone to a single Iskand Satsang where they have told, where they have not told you, Prabhu, please come back again? No. No. Huh? Then why did we stop going to Satsangs? how can anybody stop going to satsangs just take this four things just take this four things or or have you got to have you gone to a single iskon satsang where they have asked you what is your pay what is your qualification which company you work for no have they asked anybody so far in satsangs no out of intimacy you might discuss it later you know maybe after 10 months of satsang you might just discuss for whatever reason but has anybody asked these things never right so why do you leave satsangs how can you leave a satsang prabhu how can you leave a satsang it is it is ridiculous and if you if people can leave satsang in this kind of environment no wonder they have left the supreme personality of godhead no wonder we have left the supreme personality of god i am not surprised i am thoroughly convinced i am thoroughly i am telling out personally my 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 conviction i am thoroughly convinced i told no to krishna and i have come to this material world i am thoroughly convinced on that because if i can see faults in devotees i would have 100% seen faults in krishna 100% i would have seen why are we going to satsang why are devotees in our lives who has sent these devotees please prabhu think about it and if you cannot be part of the satsang at least don't be a person who will break satsang into different parts right you if you cannot be part of that satsang just leave go find another satsang go find another shelter prabhupada has created a world filled with satsangs go there beg krishna 
that you know make me a fitment in satsang sir don't beg krishna give me a good satsang no beg krishna somehow make me fit in some satsang so i can improve don't become a don't become a instrument to break that satsang krishna will not tolerate that i have seen such instances when i was you know in my i mean still in my beginning days i always consider a beginner no I, that's true but in my little devotional life i have seen how some people come and break the satsang apart so much sacrifice with so much dedication of some families you know they sacrifice their lives to to build a community to serve shila prabhupad and some people just go and break that why because their false ego is not satisfied what iskon is doing for me is that the question you'll ask or what i am doing to iskon you'll ask what i am doing to iskon are you really asking that question ee satsang lo bothe naake vachindi ha ye satsang ko kya mere ko kya mila mere logon ko kya mila mere my favorable people what are they getting hmm? this prabhu got this i didn't get this that prabhu got that i didn't get this are you here to get this or are you, are you here to give this what are you here for kya karne aaye ho bhaiya satsang mein what have we come here for we have come here to give we have come here to give service and take blessings we have come here to give our pride and accept humility right take satsang very seriously take devotees very seriously hiranyakashipu could kill prahlad in satyayuga hiranyakashipu could kill prahlad in satyayuga provision mataji is in satyayuga 99.99% people were very very pious still there was hiranyakashipu and he was very powerful to kill prahlad same hiranyakashipu is more prevalent 99.99% people are iranakashpus in kaliyuga reverse right uh, and iskon is an institution like prahlad please join to contribute and to elevate and to help not to judge and to break it apart and to comment who are we to comment on senior devotees who are we what is their qualification right uh, to even talk in these lines even think in these lines we are here attending training courses all these courses are training courses bhagavatam class bhagavad gita class all this training you know and some of us are preaching don't think we are preachers we are not preachers we are in special iicu that's all everybody is in icu we are in iic what is iicu another i gets added right <laughs> intensively intense care unit <laughs> something like that i saw in one hospital there is icu there is iicu i forgot the total so when you have to get more purified you become a preacher because now you have to read now you have to read and repeat read and repeat read and repeat and so that one day it will go inside you one day the philosophy will go inside you one day you will start serving genuinely you will start serving not looking at people count not looking at uh, who is coming who is going right uh, so we have to focus on what we can give and we have to worship what we are receiving in satsang and any devotee satsang anywhere on the planet if you get an opportunity to go there learn from it don't see faults in it and if you are too diseased that you are not able to control your fault then for some time leave that satsang 
and and meditate and correct yourself and there or go and speak to a senior person in that satsang saying that prabhu this is how i'm feeling what to do he will guide you recently i was hearing uh lecture of my guru maharaj uh, actually any sanyasi in iskon will is telling the same thing that give more focus to your sadhana and sadachar very important sadhana very very important your 16 round should be the best 16 rounds your reading should be the best reading your whatever service little service you are doing it should be best you don't have to do 20 services just do one service but perfectly do it to the full of your capability with the full of your dedication full of your determination do it right don't do it half heartedly and we are all grahasthas have a heart to serve the temple have a heart to serve people have a heart to give your wealth have a heart because otherwise you will be you will be shackled you will be shackled with greed you will be shackled with attachment right my wealth my money my salary my my installment my this my this my this my this you will completely go shackled you have to learn to let go to let go and to make satsang a place which is your family do you think twice have you provision mata ji do you think twice to buy grocery to your house hmm? how many people feel oh so much money i should not buy grocery to my house do you feel like that no problem yeah, prabhu anybody else or I'll, or i'll buy a low class grocery i'll buy uh, you know third class rice third class uh, dal to my house do you think like that no no hmm? never right ke yeah, provision mate are you there can you please on your cameras if you don't mind some of you at least it's completely black screen right now hey soste ho kaisa ki main ghar le main aaj ghar leke jaunga third class grocery third class sab kuch leke jaunga do you think like that we never think like that then why our mind is making us think that we should think twice when we are trying to buy something for satsang why satsang not your family kada satsang your family ana kada avunu prabhu yes prabhu are a satsang itla a satsang a satsange mana family a satsange mana family prabhu inken led byta there is nothing outside that satsang is our family prabhu i am telling you prabhu ji prabhu ji mata ji please be careful dealing with devotees i am telling you i am seeing i am seeing i prayed every day to krishna that krishna please keep me in the satsang please let me not see faults in devotees please please help me please help me with my airana kashpu inside me please help me because i have i'm seeing devotees leaving satsangs there cannot be a more brutal crime there cannot be a more brutal crime than you becoming a factor because of which a devotee has left satsang prabhu you go and murder a person you go and murder butcher a person that is still lesser crime as compared to you becoming a reason for somebody leaving satsang because if you kill that fellow you are killing this life if you are making him leave satsang how many lives it will take for him to come back right be very careful very very careful be very very careful this we are dealing with two edged sword yugal kishor prabhu is to preach you know two edged sword bhakti is two edged sword sword with two sides so normally sword with one side right you hold a sword like this and you and you use it like this but bhakti is two edged sword like this when you hold on either side you should be careful because if you hold wrongly either of the side you will cut yourself and you will really go through so in the same way is is satsang be very 
uh, you know respectful and careful wherever you are and try to be, you are you are sent there not to become prime minister chief you know chief minister president of that satsang that is not there is no role like that in satsang you are not sent there to become some leader or some uh, whatever counselor or nothing you have you have been sent there to learn and to accept learn how to respect devotees and learn the qualities of devotees like qualities of pralad maharaj right am i developing the qualities of pralad maharaj am i developing the qualities of pralad maharaj that should be our only meditation when we are in satsang and that is the effect of bhagavatam why we are reading bhagavatam repeatedly why we are reading bhagavatam so those qualities come to us qualities come to us we are not devotees forget about it if you are doing one good thing that's only because you have learned it from a devotee that's all i'm doing one good thing means i have learned it from a devotee i never had this quality i got this quality because of a devotee that's all and because you are doing that one good thing does it does not give you a right to judge on other things of other devotees are you following what i'm saying ఒక్క మంచి పని చేస్తున్నావు అని ఇతరుల పనుల గురించి మాట్లాడే అధికారము నీకు లేదు నువ్వు నువ్వు చేయవలసిన మంచి పని నువ్వు చేయి వాట్ ఎవర్ యు ఆర్ డూయింగ్ డూ ఇట్ ప్రాపర్లీ అండ్ యూ వాంట్ డూ సంథింగ్ మోర్ టే యు నో డూ ఇట్ ఫ్రమ్ లెర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ అదర్ డివోటీస్ అండ్ డూ ఇట్ లెట్ ద డీమన్ ఆఫ్ ఇరణ కశ్యపు నాట్ కమ్ ఇన్ టు యువర్ మైండ్ ప్రభుజన్ మాతజ్ ఈస్ నోయింగ్లీ అన్నోయింగ్లీ వి బికమ్ ఎన్విఎస్ ఆఫ్ డివోటీస్ విత్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ సత్సంగ్ and we try to kill the devotee literally kill the devotee with with our envy we are not ordinary people huh? none of us are ordinary here every single person was in front of krishna like this are you seeing me like this in front of krishna and you told i hate you that's what you told i'm not being dramatic i'm telling you the truth you want to see how i told krishna i hate you i hate you krishna this is how i told and i've come to this material world i am suffering krishna please forgive me forgive me please take me back it's my mistake please send me devotees who can teach me how to come back to your place right hiranyakashipu is there within us when you read this verse you should read the great qualities of prahlad you should also think of the worst qualities of hiranyakashipu who could see bad in such a child like prahlad how can you kill a child who is truthful respectful compassionate faithful how can you kill a child it is possible when you envy right it is possible when you envy recently we were reading right what are the kinds of people who don't come to krishna moodhas naradhamas maya apahrata maya apruta gyana and the fourth asurim, one asurim bhava asurim bhava asurim bhava e hey, asurim bhava ante varu inge varu mana demoniac qualities <laughs> demoniac qualities right i mean sorry prabhu i'm not telling anybody in the satsang please if you have seen my face closely today you know what what am i mean. <laughs> try to tell you be very careful satsang is very very devotees are very precious don't compare don't compare devotees if some devotee is doing something nice he is he is doing like that because krishna blessed him to do that krishna blessed him to do that so let us and and when we see other devotees progressing you know this i this i used to hear from a guru maharaj many times many times i heard this from a guru maharaj when you see another devotee progressing you should become happy i'm somehow not becoming happy prabhu ji please pray for me when i when i see other devotees progressing i'm not able to become happy i'm becoming envious right i need that blessing that i should not develop that envy i should feel happy that this devotee is making so much progress when will i get that heart when will i get that heart right please pray for that thank you today is a working day i will not go more than this it's already 825 thank you for your wonderful association 
today morning we had a wonderful aarti in shri giriraj prabhu's house mangala aarti tulsi aarti guru aarti hmm? and uh, it followed by a disturbing a disturbing class by irene kashpu so any 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 thoughts questions reflections six five minutes then we'll disperse we have to go and serve irene kashpu's in our offices and or rather you know we have to serve people they are not irene kashpu's again see again i'm seeing faults in others why why am i saying that my office has irene kashpu's see that the thing is sitting inside right i want to find faults in others no everybody is a devotee except me that is what these are the words of yudhishthir maharaj right yudhishthir maharaj when he was told to go and find a better person than him duryodhan came back and told i could not find any yudhishthir maharaj came and told everybody is better than me right yudhishthir maharaj would have also seen materialistic people but he could not see faults even in a materialistic person yudhishthir maharaj could not see faults even in a materialistic person prabhujan madhi meditate on this yudhishthir maharaj could not see faults even in a materialistic person that is why krishna is for krishna is so dear that is why he is so dear to krishna isn't it yeah, i am able to see faults in materialistic persons i am not able to see faults in devotees am i a devotee prabhu huh? i am able to see faults in materialistic people but i am not able to see faults in devotees no no you are not a devotee right i mean look at the purport look at the It's, it is mentioned he he is never seeing any faults in others right so anyway the, so so basically prajan mata ji our journey is very long bahut lamba journey hai let's stay in the bus let's not get down from the bus let's not push anyone from the bus today's classes <laughs> today's classes don't push others from the bus <laughs> right don't don't disturb any other devotees life you try to do your part in satsang try to become don't try to make any other devotee uncomfortable and if you see another devotee is making good progress is getting more services go serve that devotee so you will get that qualities and krishna will give you those services instead of becoming envious right so ancha kalpata rupas chakrapa sindhu eva cha patitanam pavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo ananta koti vaishnav vrind ki jay shila prabhu pad ki jay shila gurudev ki jay nitai gaur hari prem anande hari 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 krishna prabhu ji lila prabhu ji danda utpranam hari krishna prabhu ji ha hari prabhu ji dalit mantra danda utpranam prabhu ji just i wanted to add one more sentence please, please prabhu ji please, 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 please speak more about hirani kashpuna so you know it is said that prabhu ji in the western world na the main impediment to come to krishna consciousness is maha pap means it is completely pap over there so that is the impediment for people to come to krishna consciousness but in india prabhu ji it is said that it is maa bap <laughs> <laughs> what is that <laughs> maa maa bap maa maha pap <laughs> in the western world it is maha pap prabhu ji in the eastern world it is maa bap maa bap Arey means parents Arey. parents generally don't allow their son to become you know krishna conscious prabhu ji ma baap acha acha ma baap are krishna are krishna yeah are krishna so, prabhu ji yes prabhu ji yes prabhu ji satyadev prabhu hari bol are krishna prabhu ji prabhu ji uh, generally we say that you know vaishnavas are paradukha dukhi Mm-hmm. so that means uh, you know for others uh, you know or uh, uh, whenever somebody is in problems we always you know extend uh, support so in this context like uh, sometimes if we offer help or if we take help uh, within the satsang is it considered as uh, is it not a good idea or what is it no take help take help definitely seek help definitely devotees are always there to help but uh, whether that help will work or not whether the help will uh, stay or not should not make a criteria for you to leave satsang or stay in satsang uh uh-huh. okay right for example prabhu uh, i want to do interiors of my house can you help one devotee will tell yes prabhu i can help but somehow the interiors got messed up 
you know whatever suggestion the devotee gave it went exterior than the interior <laughs> <laughs> and because that immediately oh because of you my house has become like a hell i hate you i am leaving satsang are nu nu satsang vachin interior kosama lekapothe hari krishna matram japa cheyadan kochunama why did you come to satsang re baba enduku vachinavu enduku venu nu vaste vachinavu inkoni theesukoni venu <laughs> that devotee who gave you help also he'll, he'll run away from satsang are baap re what kind of people are these they are coming to satsang right and uh, i experienced that i experienced that in the satsang where some devotees came with their children for school admission they not only left the satsang with their children they also took the school principal who was part of the satsang <laughs> because of their behavior the school principal told me prabhu what is this is this how devotees behave i am not naming anybody here see there is a school principal in the satsang yes good your child will get admission very nice but if you behave in a wrong way what will that principal think about devotees what will she think about you know one person in satsang came he directly started uh, messaging that principal's daughter also ayyo rama you know the daughter went parents went the devotee also went right provision mother we should be very careful in satsang we are coming for krishna to learn krishna consciousness all other things can come and go you know devotees can help us uh, marriage is also get settled in satsang yes marriage also can get settled in satsang there is a boy there is a girl they get okay parents speak to each other and marriage also, marriages can also happen business can also happen but that is not the me- reason for satsang that is not uh, you know the criteria why i go to satsang right i am not finding a job let me go to satsang somebody will be there who will give me a job but i am not finding a, a good vocation or business let me go to satsang somebody will help me you know invest somebody will invest in my <laughs> no very dangerous very very dangerous anybody else wants to add is it hari krishna prabhu ha malinga mer prabhu prabhu ji i had uh, one point in this regard mm. i also go through this prabhu ji whenever i try to serve someone and uh, i see something uh, due to my own weakness i see something that uh, does not fit in my my own criteria so i feel that oh this something is wrong with this but i try to still serve him and over a long run i realize he is a very great personality mm-hmm. he has such a pure uh, intentions and uh, he is a great devotee so my question is how can i rectify my mistake in the earlier days may it be committed in my mind itself but how can i rectify my uh, mind prabhu there is nothing to rectify krishna krishna has already rectified and removed the anartha by bringing the devotee in your life right because the devotee came you could you could diagnose the problem and you cured that problem also right so there is nothing to rectify it's already rectified we get devotees in our life and the devotees will correct us will remove all the anarthas and it's very natural most important thing prabhu ji if you are seeing a devotee who is not able to do something nicely you can assist him and if you see that devotee has a different mood and is serving krishna in a different mood and you are not able to match up to that mood you can safely maintain a distance and do your own service rather than disturbing the devotee you know what i'm saying rather than trying to change that devotee forcefully you know or commenting on him or trying to um, make a big deal out of it no this life like my senior god brother balgun prabhu says this life is given to deliver your deliver you first not others first you deliver yourself ninnu uddarinchuko tarata vera varanu uddarinchu right the same way we have to focus on ourselves so prabhu ji we, we might have committed that aparad against that devotee so it's my fault that i saw some fault in him but over over a long run i realized that it's not his fault 
he has some pure intentions and maybe the external seemed like that yeah. so how can i uh, beg forgiveness for if you have really done something you know and if you feel that the devotee feels that you have done something you should go and ask forgiveness if not prabhuji if it is just in my mind then then you ask forgiveness to krishna ask forgiveness to krishna ask forgiveness to guru that please forgive me that i have knowingly and knowingly because of my anarthas i have disturbed the consciousness of a devotee or i have thought something bad about a devotee let me not do that again please forgive me for what i have done right and serve the devotee nicely prabhu nobody needs to be disrespected everybody is in their own journey in the spiritual life everybody is serving to the best of their capacity and not everybody is good at everything right if you ask me to cook for satsangs i can tell you the whole satsang will close in one week <laughs> i don't know how to cook i don't know how to kya karu main i don't know how to cook right it's okay i don't know how to cook but if i see some devotee cooking nicely should i will i go and put some extra masala and make it wrong that's what i'll do what will i do if some some devotee is cooking nicely i'll go and put more salt and make sure that it is all non it gets burnt up should i do that no you should appreciate 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 the devotee and learn from the devotee or assist the devotee or provide more opportunity to the devotee uh, recognize the devotee so many things you can do to the devotee rather than putting more salt <laughs> <laughs> same thing everywhere else some devotee is speaking very nicely he has a very good you know speaking ability i see some devotees you know they are natural speakers you should motivate them to do more service in preaching you should assist them to do more service in preaching see the like propad used to fan the sparks right wherever propad saw a spark used to fan it tap 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 becomes fire right propa did not tell everybody to become sanyasi propa did not tell everybody to become brahmachari propa did not tell everybody to become speaker propa saw the great quality in each devotee and he gave according to that and when we see that great quality in somebody we should fan that quality and we should uh, help that person develop in that quality how many preachers do we have in our satsang provision how many preachers do we have in our satsang Ten, fifteen people. No, all of other preachers. All of all of other preachers. That is a, that that itself a fundamental problem. We think that preaching means sitting in the vyasa sun and speaking. No, preaching doesn't have to be that. Preaching can just be going and hugging a person and saying thank you, Prabhu, for coming. That is a bigger preaching than you sitting and giving a big class. Right? Preaching is through behavior. preaching is through compassion through love right how we all came to krishna conscious because of lectures ayyo rama not because of lectures somebody treated us somebody treated us in a way that we don't even deserve to be treated that is the reason we are sitting here we don't deserve to be treated like that somebody treated us like that i am telling my own case my own case nobody treated me nicely in my life except a devotee and when the devotee treated me like that i felt for the first time i think i'm not an animal i'm a human being <laughs> right. then i started my devotional life how you are treated how you are valued how you are that is preaching no mata ji is in our satsang sometimes you know they speak sometimes they don't but actually they are the real preachers right they are doing everything in the background why do you think people come to our satsang they just want to see one prabhu sitting and talking no they look at the whole family they look at the whole family around hey see all these matajis prabhujis how happy they are how they are nicely going around helping each other doing festivals right gaur purnima is coming hari bol hare krishna gaur purnima is coming we all have our gaur nita is coming from all houses gaur nita is are coming outside like this nitai gaur hari bol hari bol they are coming out like this one from uh, madinaguda one from Upalaguda, one from Manikonda, one from you know uh, Gachiboli, one from Madhapur, one from here. All Gornitas are coming together at one single place, and we are all going to celebrate Gaurapurnima. 
the appearance day of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Right? And everybody there is a devotee, everybody there is preaching. Yes, preaching, yeah, we speak, sit and speak, but, and I created a group, preachers group, but then that doesn't mean that, you know, others are not preachers. They are all, everybody's preachers. Every, even our children are preachers. Little, little children are preachers, right? How they behave. You know, recently I did the, you know, we were doing this satsang on Sunday morning. Arvind Prabhu's daughter, she came and sat and she did nursing arti, right, on the stage. And frankly, I'll ask you, who you think all those people who are impressed to become a devotee? My two-hour useless class or that five-minute uh, beautiful kirtan by the girl? What touched heart? What touched mind? Tell me. What I spoke touched their mind. What she did touched their hearts. That's preaching. That is service. So anyway, thank you very much. I don't want to keep continuing this 8.40. I know it's a busy day. So please forgive me if I spoke anything wrongly, Prabhu and Matajis. It's just my anartha in me, the what to do. So much passion is there inside Rajoguna. Right? The passion has to come out. <laughs> so, so somehow I'm using it in uh, reading scriptures and discussing like this. But there are many, but there are many good uh, speakers on these verses in Bhagavatam. If you go to Iskon Desiree, go to Srimad Bhagavatam class, there is a link. And go to these verses, seventh chapter, seventh canto, fourth chapter, 31st and 32nd verse. There's so many people who have spoken on these two verses. And amazing classes are there. Right? And we should listen to the classes, then we will get those qualities. Right? Then we'll get those qualities of Prahlad Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Jai. Dandavat Pranam. See you all in Gaur Purnima. Bring the whole town with you. Bring everybody with you. If you are coming in an auto, bring that auto driver also into the satsang. That is your goal. Okay? Hari Bol. Mithai Gaur Purnima. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, uh, actually Friday is also a holiday. Uh, you know, I believe most of because Friday is holy. Mm. So, any uh, do we have any plan, Prabhuji? As of now, no, because unfortunately, India is still under British rule. We don't have Holi as a festival in all offices. And uh, Gaur Purnima is still not celebrated as a national holiday. So, but, but Prabhu, Friday, there will be celebrations in the temple, right? You can go to... There will be celebrations in the temple. So, we are. I am planning to take a half day on Friday. And we should fast, if our, if our health permits, fast until... Evening. 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 Dusk. Dusk. Evening. Until dusk. Right? Until... And then you can have prashadam. But if your health doesn't permit, you can have some fruits. You know, have some uh, ekadashi prashadam. Okay. Prabhuji, any, any, we are taking any service uh, from temple, Prabhuji? Kachpoli satsang? Not at this time. But yes, we are we are having a great service opportunity to serve a very nice Vaishnav. His grace Vedan Chaitanya Prabhu. Yesterday I spoke to him. He is very happy to come and give a class to all of us. So, biggest service will be come at 4.30. That is the biggest service. <laughs> don't, don't come like uh, don't come like police at the end of Bollywood movie, right? After everything is over, when the slides are going up, they come. Kanun, kisne haath me liya, mein hu kanun, uddhatlan kanun. Please come ahead of the time by 4.30. In fact, come a little before so you can help us in organizing this festival because this festival is going to be very unique. It's going to be a, it's going to be a stage with maybe 10 Gornetais, right? So there is a lot of things needed, coordination needed, where to keep the bhoga, where to keep this, where to keep... We have a conference call, I believe, uh, today evening. Um, it is not yet sent out. Subaru Prabhu, can you send it out? I can send it out, Prabhu. So 8.30, yeah. can we do? Uh, 8.30, yeah. 8 Prabhu, Prabhu, Lilanand Prabhu, first level conversation has been completed. Please talk to Anu Mataji and accordingly organize an evening conference call. Oh, I cannot dare to speak to Anu Mataji. <laughs> if I speak to Anu Mataji, Gaur Punima will be cancelled for my family. <laughs> yes, yes. Anu Mataji and I had discussed this morning, Prabhuji, on a lot of logistics and many other aspects. Kindly talk so, to her once. So, so then you, you better you better manage, you know, and handling 
whatever you both are planning okay prabhuji then leave it to us like, <laughs> we don't need to have a big conference call with 50 people to discuss prabhuji will manage it prabhuji hare krishna auna oh, auna oh, okay 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 so uh, maybe you can maybe you can present what you have discussed so everybody else is prepared yeah yes prabhu can you take huh? a minute to present prabhu that yeah, might yeah. be helpful maybe maybe, so, maybe today evening you can present it you just present no, it 8:30 <laughs> uh, what your plan because you know maybe there is some no, mataji mataji need to sit with you and talk and take one decision prabhuji which i proposed in front okay, of okay, mataji okay. she should speak I'll to you and you. confirm I'll once that is done then accordingly the whole planning will uh, change prabhuji hare krishna i'll stop recording hare krishna